What's up guys? So the category Super Bad Road Stages have just been released on Global and I'm sure some of you watching right now might be struggling a little bit because these new stages are really, really hard. But you know what? Lucky for us, Reddit user Prism Azure created one of the most comprehensive team building guides that I've ever seen for well, almost anything. So in this video, I'm going to share that guide with you guys and hopefully help those of you who are having some trouble. Now, first things first, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to Prism Azure for creating this guide. And I don't take any credit for the information presented in this video. I'm just here to spread the word to my audience. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. I'm going to start by reading a few of the tips that he wrote here to show him that respect. Disclaimer, Super Battle Road is an event targeted at end game players with experience and a lot of diverse teams and units. This guide is for the global version and is not aimed at beginners. So yeah, if you guys are fairly new to the game, you've only been playing for maybe a couple months, maybe a couple weeks, and you can't beat Super Battle Road, don't worry about it. <laughs> You'll get there, but it's totally, totally normal. This is the hardest mode in the game right now. So for recommended items, he recommended four healing and four defense, and I totally agree with these. Um, for the healing, we have Princess Snake, Android 8, Future Bulma, and the Namekian Frog. And for defense, we have a Ghost Usher, a Whis, uh, Icarus, and Nurse Chi Chi. Awesome items. They're definitely the best ones you can bring. And he says two of healing and two of defense is optimal. So for me personally, I usually like to bring a Princess Snake, Android 8 for healing, and for defense, I go with a Ghost Usher and a Nurse Chi Chi, but try different combinations and see what works for you. Fundamental tips, take the best possible friend leader, hidden potential investment. So ideally, you wanna bring a rainbow friend if possible. Units capable of super attack or stealing super attacks, stunning, reducing taken damage, reducing attack, and dodging should be preferred to use. So basically what he means is you wanna bring units that have different utility. You don't want to just bring units that can do the most damage because that will get you killed. Of course, damage is important, but you also need units that can do a lot of other things to survive in this mode. Dokkan mode should be used on third phase for the most efficiency. Basically, save your Dokkan attack for a time where you can get the most units, the most enemies possible. Of course, sometimes you will have to use it on like one guy who barely has any HP and you can't avoid it, but best case scenario is to use that Dokkan attack on as many enemies as possible so you can get the most out of it, right? Focus secondary targets who often have lower HP than the first enemy himself to take them down quicker. So I've talked about this before. Basically, when you have a fight with multiple enemies, the leftmost enemy usually has the most HP and the rightmost usually has the least. So you want to start from the right and work your way in. And the last tip I believe is for... Yeah, it's for the mono type team, so we're not gonna talk about that because they've been around for a while. And we're gonna move on to team building. Hidden potential investment and super attack uh, level increase is crucial, of course. The more you invest in hidden potential and super attack levels on your units, the higher your chance of beating the attempted stage will be. Substitutes are units that can be used as replacements if you lack the example team, but generally speaking, they may not be as good as the listed team to beat the stage. Also, not every possible option is listed, only examples. Of course, that makes sense. There's so many subs possible, so can't list them all. The first unit is the leader and friend. However, some other units in the teams can also be used as leaders if you lack the best leader or if you run a different team setup. And alternatives are category teams that can be used instead of the usual team. They are stronger, but more expensive. All that makes sense to me. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments down below and I'll try my best to help you out. So the first part of this guide is for the monotype stages that we've had for a while. So I'm not really gonna touch on that in this video, but if you wanna take a look at it, I'm gonna scroll through it very slowly, but alternatively, I'll put the link to the original Reddit post in my description so you guys can also check it out over there, all right? So we're gonna skip through that and move on to the category stages now, which is the meat of this video. Note, for category Super Battle Road, the stages 11 to 10, which are the new category stages, are vastly more difficult than stages 1 to 10, which are the monotype stages, and you will need specific category teams with units having a significant hidden potential investment as well as specific LR rarity cards for some. So, all that is to say, this is really, really hard, and you might need specific units to beat them. And if you can't beat them with those without those specific units, then it might just mean you have to wait until you actually manage to pull them, or you get really good RNG, one or the other, but it's gonna be tough, guys, so get ready. Now, I'm gonna start with the super and extreme type stages. And why don't we start with the super first? So this is the example super team that he gave us. And uh, one thing to note is that you do need one unit of each type to attempt. So you need a rainbow super team or a rainbow extreme team for each respective stage. The team that he gave us here is Vegito Blue as the leader, 
LR Goku and Frieza, LR Vegito, LR Gogeta, Super Saiyan 3, Vegeta the SDR one, and AGL Super Vegito. So fantastic team over there. Everybody except for uh, Vegito Blue can actually tank very, very well and of course deal a ton of damage except for the STR SSJ3 Vegeta, he'll be able to deal a lot of damage after Extreme Z Awakening, which is not available on Global yet. So for the time being, he's just there as a tank, but everybody else can do a ton of damage, especially LR, Goku, and Frieza. So if you have that set up, then you probably have a very good chance to beat this stage. Some subs that he recommended would be the Chiaotzu and Jocko, who are... If you're, if you're not, if you're kind of curious about why he has SRs as subs, these two are actually very useful for their utility because they can both stun the entire enemy team the first time they pop up in a rotation. So each of them is essentially like a free Ghost Usher. Of course, UI Goku can deal a lot of damage, and once he transforms into MUI Goku, he's almost untouchable. Physical Super Vegito is obviously better than AGL Super Vegito, but. Of course, you need a rainbow team, and you already have LR Gogeta here. If you don't have LR Gogeta, then maybe you want to put in Physical Super Vegito instead of AGL Super Vegito. And of course, Jiren for damage and stunning. And uh, Kefla actually is really good for a little bit of damage, a little bit of tanking, and also orb changing for your LR Gogeta. So there you go. And you can also run some rainbow category teams as well. So you got Super Saiyan 3. Universe Survival Saga and Protara, all three of those will do very well on this stage. And I'm sure there are other options for category teams too, but those are three of the best categories in this entire game, so I don't mind those recommendations at all. So that's for Super. Best of luck to you guys if you're attempting it. I think Super probably will be the one that most people will be able to clear if they can only clear one, because like I said, there's a lot of options and a lot of different combinations that could potentially work. As far as the extreme side goes, he has STR Rose, LR Goku Black, LR Bojack, LR Cell, um, AGL Turles, and we have the Tech Golden Frieza as well. So for this team, extremely, extremely tanky setup for sure. Turles is one of the best support units in the game. Um, this Golden Freeze is one of the best tanks in the game, and it can also deal a fair amount of damage. Of course, Bojack is amazing, amazing as a tank. He can tank too. Uh, LR Cell is not the greatest tank in my opinion, but he does get a fair boost from having more enemies, which you will find a lot in Super Battle Road. And he also can heal you, which is very useful. And Rose is a good support and can deal some damage, do a little bit of tanking. As well. makes, he also makes the team more tanky overall because he does provide defense on his passive. So amazing, amazing team right there. But if you are missing some of these units, then you can go for a physical Mega Shenron, who's amazing. Um, we can bring Majin Vegeta, who can attack all. LR Broly, who can attack all. But of course, make sure you protect LR Broly because he is very very much a glass cannon. He can't tank at all, so don't let him take attacks if possible. We also have Int, Angel, Golden, Frieza. Really good damage and can also debuff the enemy. Physical Final Form Cooler. Really good tank. Decent damage. And STR Janemba. Now, Janemba's damage output is a little bit underwhelming in my opinion, but he can also tank and dodge. So that's why he's up there and he can actually do really well in Super Battle as well. So not a bad option. And for alternatives, we have a movie bosses team, which has very similar units to the extreme team and uh, resurrected warriors could work as well. Now you'll notice that these teams all have LR Bojack because he is one of the best, one of the best tanks in this entire game. Unfortunately, I don't have him, but if you do have him, you want to make sure that you have him on your extreme Super Battle team. All right. So moving on to fusions now. And for fusions, we have LR Gogeta, of course, amazing damage, amazing tank. We have SSJ4 Gogeta with the dodges and the damage. SSJ3 Gotenks, who's really here just for the damage. Um, Super Gogeta, can't really tank either, but really good damage. And uh, we have this physical Super Saiyan Gotenks, who can seal and output a good amount of damage. And also as support, we have this uh, Gotenks and Ghost, which is actually kind of surprising, but I guess... He does have a fair bit of utility and is a solid support for the team. So yeah, there you go. I I trust <laughs> I trust Prism Azure for that choice. But for subs, we have the SDR Go Tanks. We have the SSJ3 Tech Go Tanks, who, unless you get the 11 key off, will do very underwhelming damage. So ideally, if you have the physical one, then definitely bring the physical one. SDR Gogeta, um, who is you know a step down from Ink Gogeta. Now. now if this guy gets an Extreme Z Awakening in the future, then he could very well be better than Ink Gogeta for the time being. Of course, he's not 
anywhere as good. We have Pandel for support. We have Barlot who can do a little bit of nuking, I believe. And also we have Weiris who can change orbs, uh, two types of orbs. The only unit in the game that can actually change two types of orbs. Now, I don't think he would do that well on Super Battle, honestly, except for changing orbs for your LR Gogeta to get the 24 or 18 key off. Shadow Dragons, very, very limited. Shadow Dragons is an extremely limited category in general so as you can see there's not a lot of subs but the best team you can possibly bring is omega shenron the ssj4 full power goku a uh, ssj4 vegeta ssj4 gogeta the uh, str gt trunks and your pan for support and good subs are <laughs> i mean there's only two sin shenron and i believe this is ice shenron i don't remember his name is i believe it's ice shenron though so there's your subs for Shadow Dragon Saga. It's very specific, so if you're missing any one of those units, like SJ4 Vegeta, if you're missing full power SJ4 Goku, you might have a lot of problems with this stage. But for me personally, actually, I do have the optimal team, so hopefully we can beat it, fingers crossed. Moving on. Next up, we got everybody's favorite category, Peppy Gals, and here is the optimal setup. We have the STR Free to Play Ririan, whose event I believe just came back, so we didn't farm her previously. We can farm her now, and I actually rainbowed her, so I feel good about my chances here. <laughs> we have the Kefla, Khalifla, Tech 18. Um, Wow, Tech 18 and AGL 18. I thought they had the same name, but I guess not. So I guess if you can run them both on the same team, then Tech 18 and AGL 18, who just got her Dokken Awakening on Global, and this farmable Tech Bulma, who is an amazing, amazing tank. And the thing is, I don't think her team or her um, event is on Global right now. So unfortunately, if you didn't farm her in the past, you probably can't farm her right now, but eventually I'll come back. And when, she, when it does, make sure you farm her up because she is fantastic and she will be really, really crucial, I believe, for this team. Now for subs, we have the new Chi Chi, we have the new Bula, I believe, and we have a Saiyaman or Videl, we have a Pandel, the physical summonable uh, Rebrian, and Int. Oh, interesting. See, he does recommend Int Mai. I feel like she's not so good. I wouldn't necessarily recommend her, but it's it's up there if you have her. But <laughs> I feel like with this one, um, you do really want to have the optimal team. I think Chi Chi or Bula would be really good, but the other ones might not do so well. That's just my opinion, though. So there's Peppy Gals for you. Best of luck to you guys. Moving on to Hybrid Saiyans, the optimal team that's recommended here is, of course, STR Ultimate Gohan as lead. Uh, LR AGL Super Saiyan Trunks, the free-to-play one who is not currently on Global yet, but I believe he will be here starting next Monday or Tuesday of next week. And we have LR Trunks, the OG, LR Gohan, uh, STR Family Kamehameha Goten, of course, fully Extreme Z Awakened if possible, and Physical Super Saiyan Gotenks. As for subs, we have LR Mighty Mask or Goten and Trunks. We have the future Gohan who will be here in a couple of days. We have Physical Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, the STR Rage Trunks who is a very, very good tank. A Physical Gohan, of course, is a very good tank as well. The AGL Family Kamehameha Super Saiyan Gohan. And we have Pan as well as a support unit if you guys are missing some of these other units. And that's Hyper Saiyans for you. All right, only four more category teams to go. We got the Resurrected Warriors next, of course, led by Int and the Golden Frieza. We also have the Tech Golden Frieza here for his tanking, a little bit of damage, and also being a great linking partner for Int and the Golden Frieza. Next up is LR Bojack, who is an amazing tank and can also output a fair amount of damage himself. Uh, AGL Tapion is here because he can tank. And also, once you fall below 50% HP, he transforms into Harutagarn, and you're impervious for at least one turn. It could be two. I don't remember how many turns he transforms for, but I believe it's one turn. And the Tech Tapion is here because he can do a little bit of tanking, a little bit of damage, and he can also change orbs. And last but not least, we have the AGL LR Maja Vegeta, and he is here because mainly because of damage output, and also upon 18 key, he can attack the entire enemy team, which is super useful, but it's hard to get off. For subs, we have LR Broly, the Extreme Z Awakened AGL Piccolo, who can heal and can tank. We have the Tech Perfect Cell, who doesn't have his Extreme Z Awakening on Global yet, so once he gets that, he might actually be in the optimal team. We have the Transforming Frieza, who's amazing, can heal. Uh, Kid Buu can heal as well, but it's hard to get his super off. And of course, SSJ3 Bardock is here as well for his support. So there's Resurrected Warriors. Moving on to Realm of Gods, we have UI Goku as the leader. LR Vegito Blue, you guys know why he's here. Amazing tank 
and amazing damage output. And LR Goku Black is in the same boat. He can also heal, so he has to be there. We have STR Rose, Jiren, and God of Destruction Topo as the best support on global, at least, for this category. And for subs, we have the transforming AGL Goku, Tech Vegito Blue, who can deal a lot of damage, but he can't tank at all. We have SSB Vegeta, LR Beerus. Um, if you don't have the STR Rose, then AGL Rose can still put in the work, but he's not ideal. And last but not least, we have the STR Godku, who is the best linking partner for UI Goku, but for Super Battle Road, oftentimes you will have to break up your rotation, so that doesn't matter nearly as much as it would for a normal event. Okay, two more. Majibu Saga, we have the physical Super Vegito as the leader, of course. And you have to have LR Vegito here, in my opinion. LR Vegito here is very, very crucial. STR Gohan, because he can tank. We have the uh, Saiyaman 1 and 2 LR, who can also tank. Damage output is not so impressive, but they can tank and also make the entire team more tanky as well, as well as providing key for the LRs. And we also have LR Mighty Mask, or Goten and Trunks for damage output. And again, the Goten here to change orbs, but of course, make sure that he's Extreme Z Awakened all the way, because otherwise, he's not going to be nearly as good. For subs, LR Majin Vegeta, uh, SJ3 Gotenks, physical one. LR Thousand Day Goku, Spirit Bomb Goku, who a lot of people probably don't have, but if you do have him, then you can try him on the team. He can heal, and of course he's also an LR, so he can do a little bit of tanking, a little bit of damage overall. Solid LR, but I don't have him personally, so I'm not going to be using him, and I'm sure most of you watching right now probably aren't at a thousand days or more. Uh, we have the Super Saiyan Gotenks, who I love, uh, SSJ3 Angel Goku, and of course the brand new Extreme Z Awaken on Global at least. Int Ultimate Gohan, who auto supers, so no matter how much key you give him, he will super and he gets stronger in return, so very, very good unit overall. That's the Majin Buu Saga right there. Last but not least, we have the Patara category, which is a very powerful category, and if you have all these optimal units listed here, then you're probably set for this one. So we're going to start with the LR Vegito as the leader. We also have LR Vegito Blue, LR Goku Black, Physical Super Vegito, STR Rose, and Physical Kefla. Amazing, amazing team right there. But if you don't have some of these units, you can also sub in Tech Vegito Blue for the massive amounts of damage, but he can't really tank. Candy Vegito is really just here for his high chance to dodge, so in theory, he could technically take no damage. <laughs> we also have AGL Super Vegito if you don't have the physical one. Int Zamasu can actually be quite a good healer. AGL Rose if you don't have STR Rose, and of course, Physical Vegito Blue if you don't have LR Vegito Blue, but I would still recommend taking LR Vegito Blue. So if you haven't farmed up the LR Vegito Blue, the Patara earrings, then you know, now's the time to do it. Now's the time to do it to take on this Patara stage. All right, guys. So that's going to do it for the entire guide for all 10 of the new category Super Battle Road stages. We got Super, Extreme, Fusion, Shadow Dragon Saga, Peppy Gals, Hybrid Saiyans, Resurrect Warriors, Realm of Gods, Majin Buu Saga, and Patara. Again, huge thank you to Prism Azure for creating this list. Like I said, I don't take credit for it. All credit goes out to him. And uh, there you go, guys. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions about this guide or any questions about these specific teams or specific stages. And one thing I do want to remind you guys is that these stages, again, are very, very hard. They are really, really hard, a lot harder than the monotype category stages. So, monotype category stages, no, monotype stages, right? So, even if you have all of the optimal units that are presented here it doesn't mean you're guaranteed to win it could still take really good rng and you know some good rotations some good enemy attacks and not a ton of supers as well from the enemies to get you through them so just be patient don't rage too much and uh, understand that most of the time that you attempt, you will probably die. So <laughs> there you go, guys. Best of luck to you guys. And later on today, depending on when you're watching, if you're watching this on the day that's released, like this video that is, then I will be streaming my own attempt of the new category stages later on in the day, probably around 4 p.m., maybe 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you are watching this on a later date, then it doesn't matter. Just ignore what I just said. But that's going to do it for the video, guys. Hope you found it helpful. I sure did. I think this one, this guide will help me a lot when I do my own personal attempts. And uh, as always, if you guys like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content. And a few other things is that uh, I just want to remind you guys to follow me on Twitter, 
on Twitch and on Instagram, all the major platforms. Enough self-promotion though, I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.